Hey guys, it is Carter here. Welcome to Westby, Wisconsin. Welcome to our small, humble little dairy farm. As mentioned in the last episode, we have a crazy day ahead of us. So, like I said in the last episode, we have to... If we pull up the map... Um, you can kind of see in field 48. It's right over the hill here. We've got the planter, the John Deere planter. Well, cedar actually hooked up to our International 1586. Um, and we're going to get right into it. So we're working on planting winter wheat. And if we look at our calendar, we should be able to start planting today. Um, this isn't too big of a priority, uh, just because we have a couple days to do it. So, uh, but I would like to at least get one of these fields done during the video and then probably work on the rest off camera. Uh, by the way, I do live stream a lot of my off-camera stuff, so uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, keep an eye out. I make community posts about when I'm streaming, and I also post on my Discord. Also, if you have not done so yet, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 1,500 subscribers by the time FS25 comes out. I think we can do it, but I need your guys' help. Anyways, back to the video. So, like I said, uh, yeah. Planting wheat, it's October, first half of October, and uh, feels good. And then after that, we're going to have some soybeans to harvest. So yeah, let's get into it. I'll see you guys after the time lapse. All right, guys, we are done with that batch of planning. Um, when we head over there at the combine, I will uh, show you guys what I have kind of thought up while I was planning this section. Also, I have to say this planter was incredibly efficient with the seeds. Uh, we only used 80% of that, so or 20% of our seeds. Unfortunately, it does not have fertilizers, so we're going to have to... Uh, get that set up as well probably in the next episode I believe the uh, co-op has some fertilizer spreaders for rent so we'll get the combine warmed up I am going to detach the 4020 just because we do have the oops just because we do have the uh, gravity boxes running tandem right now so 
obviously more power is better. Okay, we have our combine all fired up, warmed up, ready to go. This will be our first bean harvest on the farm with hopefully many more to come. Beans are a uh, one of the only like semi-decent money producing crops in the area, so we really need this to uh, work out for us. Oops, and then, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> basically, if you can see before I continue, let's see if we can jump up on here. If you can see, there's like a little line right in the middle of my sc screen here. Uh, we're going to probably plant whatever the smaller half of this field is uh, with wheat, and then we'll save the, with the other half for next planting season for whatever we decide to do. Yeah, so one half of that extension there is going to be winter wheat, and the other half is going to be probably soybeans or corn. So, yep, that's the plan. Uh, like I said, we'll plant the rest of it tomorrow, and then we'll... Or, the next episode and we will also um, fertilize everything in the next episode and then we also have the field behind the barn the skinny little one that one needs to be cultivated still and I'm debating doing that before winter time um, but I'm a little worried because the ground around here is it's not too bad on clay um, it's not nearly as bad as other parts of Wisconsin but it still has a little bit of clay in it, so it can definitely uh, pack up between winter or fall and spring. So we might hold off on it, but if we have time, we might also uh, decide to cultivate that just so it's ready for next spring planting right away. But yeah, we are officially harvesting beans, and I will talk to you guys after another time lapse. Alright guys, we are done with this first chunk of the field. As you can see the distance, we we have a little bit more to do there. I didn't want to go over that ditch um, until I went and looked at it closer just because it, it was pretty rough looking and I didn't want to break anything on the combine. But uh, yeah, so we got this whole chunk done. The yield was mediocre at best. Combine's running incredible. Uh, super impressed with all the equipment we've gotten so far for pretty pretty much for the most part. Um, just because it's supposed to rain later, we're going to pull the beans into our machine shed. Uh, we will leave the auger set up for tomorrow or for the next episode. Uh, yeah, because we have quite a bit of gravity box space left, so I don't really see the point in unloading it yet. Uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Uh, like I said, as you can see, it's going to rain, so yeah, that's why we're putting it in here. But yeah, that is it for today. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave a comment if you have any comments, questions, concerns. 
If you've not done so yet, hit the subscribe button. Like I said, we're trying to hit 1,500 subscribers by the time FS25 comes out. I personally think it's a very doable goal, but uh, time will tell. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Peace out.